Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Boric, and our Phantoms get their first W. Let's go, Phantoms. Four to nothing, blanking the Wolfsbury Scranton Baby Penguins after having a great penalty kill tonight. Put them on too many power plays. That's something you're going to want to fix going forward. But game made them go 0 for 8, and the Phantoms went 1 for 5 on the power play. On the great blast, the great one-timer, that is a force of nature, pun intended, by Tyson Forster, that he was able to score on from both first-round picks, Cam York and Morgan Frost, who has looked better of late, especially on both ends of the puck and on the PK. You saw the best out of Frost on the other end of the puck tonight. On the defensive end, and Shushko wired one himself, who has a hell of a wrist shot, an underrated one, ah, an underrated one in my opinion, assisted by German Rusoff and Hayden Hodgson, who got a goal on a great assist, by um, Garrett Wilson that Glenn Denning had the other assist later in the game that Hodgson was able to score again. He's up, of course, for the first time in years in the AHL and is making his presence felt, being able to make the Phantoms after a trial contract. And Cooper Zek had a couple key blocks early, making his presence felt coming into the lineup for the Phantoms after unfortunately getting injured after signing his contract here, his NHL contract, and then playing for the Phantoms and developing to hopefully be able to get his chance to be able to make his debut with the Flyers one day, potentially this season. And then Jerry Mahieu <clears throat> was, of course, able to cap it off in the end of the game as we got an empty netter there, and we had that assisted by Morgan Frost to get the 4-0 win. And Felix Sandstrom played very well as well, getting the 25-save shutout, really played well on some of the penalty kills, really stepped up. Frost was good on the penalty kill. Zek got a couple key blocks, and you continue to see these key players play well in front of their goaltending on the defense. Ben Glendening's been very good all season. Like I said in my preview to this game, the Phantoms have looked better in terms of playing in front of their goaltending defensively as games have gone on. They just haven't, the only thing they haven't got is what happened tonight, which was the scoring output, finally getting three goals in a game, adding on the extra for the fourth there with the empty netter that they were able to capitalize and score in this game. That's all this Phantoms team really needed. They weren't playing bad overall to start the season. They were playing decent defensive game, minus really one game that they had there. And they just weren't able to get the results because they weren't able to put the puck in the net. Well, now they were able to find Twine tonight. They were able to get the three goals on a great blast by Shushko, a great blast by Forster, and a great pass from Wilson to Hodgson to be able to get the goal. And a great game marked by Felix Sandstrom really looking sharp in net there and really having a fantastic game. The Swedish duo is working. Now we just got to keep scoring and supporting in front of our goaltenders. Even though we put them on the power play oh too much, this was the best overall game play by the Phantom. They survived that second period, and then they played a good game overall. Especially they play good on the PK. You just don't want to be on it that much and got it done, and then answered on the other end with the hot single that really put the game away at that point when the Wilkes-Barre Scram Penguins couldn't score in their power play, and then we were able to tally another one. That's when they really kind of put it away there. You saw a push from them. Sandstrom had answers. Zach had blocked. When Denning made good defensive plays, and you continue to see this team kind of try to build and get to being a team that's able to go from as bad as a start we had to being a team we saw last year that went on runs because they have the talent to do it with the Shushkos, the Logan Days of the world, who i love to see his aggressiveness tonight when we saw that from him. You have the skill and you have the defense and you have the goaltending to do it. You just weren't getting the scoring early on that everybody that t covers this team has been talking about. Now we got that tonight. If that continues to happen, there's no reason to think our Lehigh Valley Phantoms can't go on a run just like they were in a struggle bunny spot when they play next they play the checkers then we play we play the checkers back to back this weekend then we play the Hershey Bears next Wednesday then we play Providence and then we play the Springfield Thunderbirds next Saturday so the Phantoms have a Charlotte Checkers team that's been playing fairly well Hershey that's playing great and then Springfield that's playing really good early this season but you could, if you play really well, this Phantoms team is skilled, as I've said, enough with all these, the good forward core, the good scoring ability forward core, we just weren't getting it on the board. Now that they kind of opened themselves up and they kind of been able to loosen themselves up, you saw when Forster wired that one home, he looked very kind of like really relieved that he was able to actually put that one in. I think that's how this team really feels as a whole 
after this game. They finally were able to get over the two-goal threshold and really have a good offensive output, score one on the power play, look good on the power plays that they weren't able to get goals in, where Domingue was able to step up for the Wilkes-Barre Scram Penguin. And then also, they look very good on the PK. You just don't want to put them on that many PKs. So this has been a reaction to the Phantom. Great 4 to nothing shutout led by Felix Sands from Max Francisco. Tyson Forster, Cam York, and Frost look very good as well. Hayden Hodgson's looks great. So does Logan Day. Zeck looked good in his first game. So all things good for this game, other than the amount of power plays we put them on. But that's something this team will grow from. We are definitely a great game to build on, and it was an exciting game to watch the Phantoms get their first win. Stay safe, everybody, and let's keep the winning ways going, Phantoms. Go Phantoms. This has been Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Peace out.